This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss of WDWNT.com, and here now are the top Disney Park stories from around the world for March 28th, 2022. Yes, I am on the road, so it is my disembodied voice once again. The Cultural Representative Program is officially returning to Walt Disney World this August, though no specific date has been announced. The program will return in phases with participants from select countries whose 2020 program was shortened or canceled now being offered the opportunity to apply. All participants from a 2020 program received an email uh, this week informing them of their current status and the next steps. The Germany, Norway, Italy, France, United Kingdom, and Canada pavilions at Epcot will be the first to see cultural representatives return. The art installations at Orlando International Airport celebrating 50 years of the Walt Disney World Resort have been removed as of March 25th. The installation included a Mad Tea Party photo op and decorations at the APM stations. Those are sadly now gone. Guests have been excited as the Walt Disney World Railroad has currently been testing at the Magic Kingdom, but now there is a lot of progress happening on the tunnel where the train will travel through as it goes underneath Tron Light Cycle Run, the upcoming Magic Kingdom ride. Of course, now you're looking at the concept art where the train tunnel is clearly visible. Uh, there's no word yet on when the tunnel will be complete or when the Walt Disney World Railroad will reopen, but it feels like we're getting close. The new 50th anniversary Coach and Walt Disney World collection has arrived at the Magic Kingdom. We're excited to find four new ear headbands as part of the collection. Each pair is dedicated to a different Disney resort around the world, Disneyland Resort, Walt Disney World, Shanghai Disney Resort, and Disneyland Paris. The ears cost $295 each. You can check them out on our website. There's also bags and all sorts of other stuff. Due to popular demand, the beloved Citrus Swirl Soft Serve has made its return once again to the Sunshine Tree Terrace at the Magic Kingdom. Even though cast members were told it would be quite a while, if not years, until it would come back, it seems like enough outcry came from our last story that it is back again. It's, of course, frozen orange juice and vanilla soft serve. It costs $4.99. The review on our website, if you've never had one. Walt Disney Imagineer Zach Ridley shared a first look at the flooring of the Connections Cafe and Eatery at Epcot, which will be inspired by Walt Disney's original City of Tomorrow idea for Epcot. Quote, Epcot is full of iconic shape language that evokes grand ideas about cities, innovation, and the potential for design to make the world a better, more integrated place. These iconic Epcot designs were evident as far back as Walt's original plans for the Florida Project, where Epcot was to serve as the literal and conceptual center of Walt Disney World, where one could live, learn, and experience innovations that would later come to define everyday life. Epcot has never stopped evolving what Waltz foresaw as a constant state of becoming. To this day, Imagineers continue to draw inspiration from those original concepts and ideas for the park throughout the current transformation. Today, I'm proud to reveal a pretty cool example of this in its own state of becoming as we speak. In the new Connections Cafe and Eatery, guests will discover detailed flooring designs. Yes, more flooring. That's right, Zach Ridley now calling out the joke that's been made that all he does is flooring. Uh, that pay homage to the radial layout and celebrate the purposeful geometry and organic symmetry of Epcot. So there you see it in 3D print. Uh, Walt Disney's Epcot City will be represented on the floor of the Connections Cafe and Eatery when it opens this spring. Bright Suns, the long-awaited Cal Kestis lightsaber, the legacy one, finally made its debut at Disney's Hollywood Studios on Friday. Like most legacy collection lightsabers, it's available exclusively at Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities in Galaxy's Edge. The hilt comes in a gray case with the crest of the Jedi Order on the closure. The hilt comes with an end cap and an adapter to make it dual-bladed if you buy a second one. The end cap is stored under the saber. A 24-inch blade attachment is $24. A 31 or 36-inch is $50. You do need one if you want to light this up. The hilt itself is $159.99. You can find it currently, again, at Hollywood Studios and as well at Disneyland Park. And yes, I needed one because it just looks so cool. I haven't even played the game. The new Women of Walt Disney Imagineering book, previously available for pre-order, is now available to purchase at the Art of Disney and Disney Springs. The subtitle of the book is 12 Women Reflect on Their Trailblazing Theme Park Careers. The foreword is by Ginger Z, author and chief meteorologist for ABC News. And uh, it's a must-own. If you're watching this show, it is absolutely a must-own for you. The upcoming Droid Plaza Hotel Orlando has been added to the list of Walt Disney World Resort area hotels with early entry access. Droid Plaza Hotel Orlando will be near Disney Springs and is scheduled to open on October 27th. Guests staying at the Droid Plaza will be able to enter any of the four Walt Disney World theme parks 30 minutes before it opens to regular guests. 
Disney's Grand Floridian Resort just got an upgrade in the form of the new interactive television sets and guest rooms. The new smart TVs are slowly being introduced to hotels in phases. This is the latest one uh, to get these. Uh, they offer free content, connections to streaming content, and more. System, again, already in place at Riviera, Yacht Club, Beach Club, Coronado, Animal Kingdom Lodge, and now again, the Grand Floridian. Goods Food to Go at Old Key West has trotted out their latest seasonal soft serve flavor, Key Lime Pie. Naturally, we had to give it a try, so we took a bus down to the resort for ourselves. The soft serve is a swirl between vanilla and key lime Dole Whip with graham cracker crumbles on top. It costs $4.99. The review at WDWNT.com. Disneyland Paris has a new Starbucks mug and bottle that celebrate the park's 30th anniversary. DLP Report shared photos of the mug and bottle on Twitter. They both feature the park's Mickey-shaped 30th anniversary logo and park icons, including Sleeping Beauty Castle in shades of pink, blue, and orange. They're part of the You Are Here Starbucks collection. In addition, they also feature the uh, Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain, Autopia, It's a Small World, Phantom Manor, Mad Hatter's Teacups, the Orbitron, the Casey Jr. Circus Train, and the Pirate Galleon. Same attractions are featured on the bottle. They can both be found at the Disney Village Starbucks. Again, thanks to DLP Report on Twitter, audio testing is currently in progress for Avengers Campus at Disneyland Paris in Walt Disney Studios Park. In the video, if you listen closely, you can hear uh, Tony Stark's artificial intelligence assistant Friday speaking. More theme paneling and signs were also recently added to the land's attractions, and red paneling has been installed on some sections of the Web Slingers building recently. Of course, the land is set to open this summer. In honor of the resort's 30th anniversary on April 12th, Disneyland Paris will host nine Walt Disney Imagineers who worked on the design of the resort in a live broadcast on YouTube. The nine Imagineers are David Wilson, Tony Baxter, Beth Clapperton, Tim Delaney, Tracy Eck, Tom Fitzgerald, Bjorn Heerwagen, uh, Sylvie Massara, and Tom Morris. The Imagineers will be at Disney's Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel, giving the presentation. Some pass holders, stockholders, and others uh, will be invited. And if someone knows a way to get Tom in, that'd be great. I will be there that time. <laughs> the Phantom Manor figure by Kevin and Jody announced last year will finally be on sale at Disneyland Paris this Wednesday, March 30th. According to DLP Report, the figure will be available at Thunder Mesa Mercantile, Harrington's, and the Disney Gallery for €249. Euro. Uh, there will be a purchase limit of two per transaction. The figure is a model of the exterior of Phantom Manor, complete with wrought iron railings, laid-up windows, and a spooky tree. Tokyo Disney Resort has shared a video preview of their new Toy Story Hotel, which will be opening on April 5th, 2022. The video includes a look at the exterior and interior of the hotel, which is full of wall-to-wall -wall Toy Story references. Giant versions of Toy Story characters can be found throughout the resort. The lobby has a little Bo Peep board game on the ceiling and colored pencil columns. The video includes a look at some of the food that will be available at Lotso Garden Cafe. And a look inside one of the hotel rooms shows an Etch-a-Sketch TV, beds decorated with red bandana runners, and cloud-covered walls, just like Andy's room. Of course, if you want a full tour of the hotel, it's coming. We will be staying there on opening week, so uh, stay tuned for that. Everyone loves the themed garbage cans found at the Disney Resorts Worldwide, and we've seen plenty of love for them in Japan. From a special Baymax overlay in Tomorrowland to mini garbage can-shaped pencil sharpeners, Tokyo Disney Resort knows how much guests love these garbage cans. At Tokyo Disneyland's The Home Store, guests can pick up a mini garbage can for their home based on the oxidized copper green colored garbage cans found around World Bazaar, the park's version of Main Street, USA. Meanwhile, the garbage cans at the Villa Donaldo Home Shop in Tokyo Disney Sea will be based on the garbage cans found at the Tower of Terror. The cans are a deep blue with the logo for the New York City Preservation Society on all four sides, the organization and the attraction's backstory dedicated to preserving the Hotel High Tower, the setting of Tokyo's Tower of Terror. Both of these go on sale. April 28th at their respective parks so be sure to pop in and grab them if you can I do, they've made this New York Preservation Society one before I actually own it in a smaller size and actually a full garbage can size which as you imagine was hard to get home for the absolute latest Disney Parks news head on over to WDWNT.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms this program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor the Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next trip. The best part, their services are free. Visit www.nt.travel for details. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. You can also support the entire team behind the show by joining the WDWNT Interglobe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. 
For the Worldwide Leader in Disney Parks News, this is Tom Corolla saying to wish you today and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. And someone, please let me in to that Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary presentation. I really want to go. Looking for the latest in Disney news on the go? Then download WDWNT the app. From news to videos to park hours and more, WDWNT the app is your one-stop shop for the latest from the Disney world. Available on iPhone and Android, just search for WDWNT in your device's app store.